opens her own shop in the Philadelphia area. It's called Valley Forge Flowers, and I'm sure you've heard of Valley Forge. Um, there is a Valley Forge, Pennsylvania, but uh, she's in Wayne, Pennsylvania. Anyway, the whole thing is that she is a third generation florist. Her kids work with her as well because they're young adults, so they're the fourth generation florists. And the other thing about this is that, you know, I said to Barb, I said, Barb, what are you looking for when you pick your flowers? She said, I'm always looking for something extra special. And that's what I love. And that's what this whole hour is going to be about. These are butterfly bushes. It's a three piece set. They're called the butterfly butterfly flower soulmate plants and brand new today, of course. And here's the other thing. When I tell you it's the only order of the season, I mean it. It means when it's gone, it's gone. And she said, you've got to see the beautiful form as well as the outstanding color. Let me bring in Barbara King. Hi, Barbara. Oh, good morning, Mary Beth. So great to be with you and doing gardening. Yes. This is what I live for all year long. And this soulmate, is just an amazing plant. I actually discovered it first when our growers were sending it to me as a cut flower. And oh. I loved the color. Mm -hmm. And that vanilla scent yeah. just drove me wild. Oh, I'm like, that's... this is such, isn't it so pretty, those cherry pinks. And then it has that blossom of white in the center. Mm -hmm. I thought, this is amazing. Well, then my husband said, well, you know, why don't you try to get them oh, in nice. as plants? I'm like, uh, that's a great idea. Yeah. We brought them in. This is a butterfly attractor. It is that milkweed that is the Asclepius relative of the native Asclepius, but this has been bred to be extra special. Wow. This is that butterfly flower mm -hmm. that is going to attract all butterflies it is going to attract the monarch butterfly because this is the only food that the monarch butterfly will eat and lay their eggs on this plant and come back year after year. Wow. And I know many people know that the monarch butterfly has been diminishing in numbers. And so this is a plant that I certainly enjoy, but I love the fact that it is also helping the populate. I know that oh, scent. So good. I, I, can't, so I, good. I just can't get over that yeah. vanilla aroma of this. Mm -hmm. And this is what you're going to get. All three of these plants, Mary Beth. Yes. They are so easy. Ha have you ever seen the wild Asclepius? Um, I'm sure I have. I don't know for sure where I saw it. It's, but go ahead. It's kind of special. It's native and it's spindly and it's nice when you see it. Yeah. But they are also dying out because of pesticides. So anything we can do oh. to bring this back into right. our landscape, put them in borders, yeah. put them in pots. You can actually put these into containers and they're not going to just attract that mm -hmm. fabulous monarch that we would love to save. But all butterflies are going to be attracted to right. soulmates. The beautiful scent is going to draw yeah. them in. Hummingbirds right. are going to love it, oh. and bees are going to love this plant. Great it's for all pollinators, right? So it really, really is, and I've, it's so um, carefree. I have a couple quick, quick questions. So this is sure. going to come as three bare roots, and I want to show yes. you these. So here, these are the three bare roots. I'm just going to, they're kind of all together, so I'll just hold them up there. There's your three bare roots. You said that they're easy to grow. Now, is there any kind of certain shade or sun or soil that we should be thinking about? Definitely full sun to part okay. shade. They are just going to thrive in that. Mm -hmm. The soil, that it's really going to take pretty much average well-drained soil. Yeah. And this plant is a really strong, really thrives in the garden. It looks so delicate with those colors and right. that, that white flower in the center almost has that orchid shape to me. Right. And that's where the vanilla scent comes from. Wow. But you can put this into the garden. It's going to bloom midsummer through mm -hmm. early fall. It's going to grow about 36 to 48 inches tall. Okay. So it is, it's going to give you a nice look in the garden. Yeah. But once you plant it in, you're going to water it in for a couple weeks. 
Mother Nature is going to take over and <laughs> do a lot of the work yeah. because I like to spend my time doing other things mm -hmm. and then just enjoying a plant that yeah. really gives so much back to you. It's going to come alive with butterflies, mm -hmm. hummingbirds. I enjoy it. Our grandkids love seeing that mm -hmm. happen. And it sure. really is this magical Beautiful. process of taking that. something as simple as yeah. three bare roots, Mm -hmm. and we plant them in the ground. They're so easy to plant. Yeah. And this is what the result of that is going that. to be. Something that smells amazing. Yeah. The vanilla scent is so unique mm -hmm. that really drew me to it. And it's gonna draw the birds, the hummingbirds, the right. butterflies and the bees to the garden. Okay, I got a couple so, good this, questions. One yeah. is, is this winter hardy? Does it have to be in certain parts of the country? Well, the great thing about this is it's great from zone three to 10. So pretty much everywhere in okay. the country, except real Southern Florida. Okay, good to you know. know that and also, how far apart should we plant these? And if you well, don't know, I mean, obviously Barb knows, <laughs> but I was gonna say when these come to you, they're going to come with this growing guide. So there's yeah. all there's pictures of it on the back and you can see exactly what it's gonna look like and how to take care of it. And that's, I so appreciate these, Barb. Oh, uh, you know what? I love referring to them as well. It's kind of like when I'm, I love to cook and I'm yeah. looking at recipes, I like to refer back because it's going to give us tips and hints of how to have even more success. Yeah. This plant is very carefree, but I love mm -hmm. reading through that that guide. Me too. Easy to plant. You're just going to put them in the ground and you're going to reap the benefits of a beautiful butterfly garden. They have free shipping and handling sale price. They're on the easy pay for easy payments. And remember, you'll get three of those, but keep in mind, it's the only order of the season. We also have some very special daffodils. These